Team Fortress 2 is widely known amongst gamers as being one of the most influential class-based shooters ever made, as well as being easy to run. The game is often an easy recommendation from PC gaming veterans when new folks ask them what kind of games they should play on their new computers. However, there's a little bit of hypocrisy in this recommendation of TF2 being easy to run. It's not a very well-kept secret in TF2's inner circles that the game runs poorly on basically any piece of hardware. While you may initially boot into an empty server and get well in excess of 300 frames per second, the game's engine is so cluttered and old that it quickly gets overwhelmed, and even the most beastly of computers see frame rates well below 60 during firefights. For the sake of keeping it brief, this can primarily be attributed to the game's source code being a little bit of a mess, and not using more than three threads properly. On Christmas Day of 2012, then 12 year old me got his very first personal computer, an HP Pavilion 2000 series laptop. This sucker was equipped with a dual core AMD E300 APU, locked at a steady 1.3 GHz, 4 GB of DDR3 memory, a 320 GB 5400 RPM hard drive, a DVD drive, and a pre installed copy of the popularly hated Windows 8. With this being my first personal machine, I tried absolutely everything I'd always wanted to do before I had a computer to call my own, including playing Team Fortress 2. Now that it's been almost nine years since I got the darn thing, I think it's about time I finally show what I believe is the absolute worst experience you can have with Team Fortress 2. Though my exact memories of the machine's performance are cloudy at best, I do remember this computer being good at one specific thing, motivating me to eventually build a better one myself. This machine is so absurdly slow it would make a snail blush. When I dug this dinosaur up again and installed a fresh copy of Windows 10, the thing was so slow it was practically unusable. Hell, I even threw in an SSD and I never saw the disk usage go past 14%. When a computer can't handle something as critical to operation as the operating system itself, you know you're in trouble. With Windows on an SSD being completely out of the question, I decided to start looking for something more lightweight. I stumbled across Linux Mint and installed it on the machine with pretty much no hassle, aside from waiting an eternity for everything to copy over. After I got the OS installed completely and updated all the base packages, I finally installed Steam and TF2. For the sake of completeness, I copied over all my custom files from my main PC's install of TF2, alongside a benchmark demo I recorded a couple minutes prior. Since this test won't necessarily be an apples to apples comparison, I decided to also install Master Config's medium low preset on the laptop, in order to hopefully squeeze out as many frames as I could, even though back in the day I never really went to the extreme of using a config. I also decided to set the game to a super low 800 by 600 resolution, so the video memory demands would be drastically lower. Let's get to the testing. Getting from my desktop to the game's title screen took around three whole minutes, which is an extremely far cry from the maybe 10 seconds I expect on my main rig. Don't worry about the missing background, by the way. That's a side effect of my personal mods not supporting 4x3. Anyway, now that I had everything installed, ready and running, I started the benchmark in time demo mode to see exactly how quickly, or rather slowly, this PC could complete it. And the results were... horrendous even worse than I expected somehow. The demo I recorded, which was a standard round of Thunder Mountain on a community server, ran for maybe 9 minutes at most during gameplay. This laptop took roughly 39 minutes and 30 seconds to finish playing the demo back. That is absolutely abysmal. The average frame rate during playback was 20.06 frames per second, which I would consider to be unplayable on its own, but I noticed the game would very frequently dip as low as 12 FPS during the playback. Not a good sign at all. Just out of curiosity's sake, I also decided to run the demo at 1080p on my main PC, equipped with a Ryzen 7 2700X and an RTX 3080 that I camped out at Best Buy for, and this time it only took 6 minutes and 43 seconds, with an average frame rate of 118.97 frames per second. Bear in mind that this is also with much higher settings at a much higher resolution. Now, I understand that this machine is far more powerful and expensive than the laptop, but you have to bear in mind that TF2's engine is a huge bottleneck in this equation. And even still, my main rig absolutely smoked that laptop. For another point of comparison, I decided to run the benchmark again on my new Lenovo IdeaPad 3 gaming laptop. 
Equipped with a Ryzen 5 4600H and GTX 1650, with the same settings and custom files I used on my main PC. This time, the demo completed in around 7 minutes with an average frame rate of 113.71 FPS. Not very far behind the results of my main rig. Now again, I understand that these devices are a lot newer and more expensive than the HP crap top, but the differences in performance are huge. Nine years is certainly an eternity in the tech world, but the HP crap top was bad right from the start, and I'm certain there's still a huge chunk of the younger player base using devices just like this one. Everyone has to start somewhere, right? Even though I got all these benchmarks out of the way, and I am fairly certain this laptop is unusable to actually play TF2, I decided, against my better judgment, I was going to play at least one round of the game. Here's how it went. It is time to play Team Fortress 2 on what is quite possibly the worst device ever in the history of the world. First up, just going to turn on some statistics. We're going to use a net graph one. All right, that should show us frame rate and lerp and terp, all that stuff. Let's let's just find a game. Okay, not connected to the game coordinator. We're going to play a community server. Yeah. Okay, there's a little... I, 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 I think I see a problem. It's gonna take five minutes off my life, but I think I'm going to restart the game. I, I don't know. I don't know what's making it shit. I thought maybe I might have a launch option that makes it not exist on Steam, but it, it looks like it looks all good to me. I'm gonna launch the game again, and hopefully it doesn't fuck itself this time. Piece of shit. And now I'm off Wi-Fi. What the fuck is happening? I can't even play the fucking game! I knew the computer was bad, but I didn't think it had gotten, like, I don't know, x86 arthritis. Well, uh, my Wi-Fi network just is not showing up, so I'm gonna do the tried-and-true tech support method of, uh, turning it off and on again. If it comes down to it, I will plug in an Ethernet cable. I really don't want to, because all the ones I have are long as shit, and I don't want to clutter up my room. But again, if I have to, I'm gonna do it. Okay, it's taking way too long to find a game. I'm going to go to a community server instead. Never mind, those don't exist. And now I'm off the... Did it disconnect me from Wi-Fi again? Okay, Ethernet is plugged in. Let's try this again. It has been 20 minutes of recording, and I have yet to play a single game. I'm in the game again. No connection to the game coordinator, but servers are showing up this time, at least. Oh, boy. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. I wish I could emphasize just how bad this fucking is. I honestly do not know how 12-year-old me did this. Okay, now I've turned off voice chat and the, uh... HTML box, so uh, let's uh, rejoin the server and see if performance improves at all. There we go, there's my flamethrower skin, what's it looking like? Holding F to look at it. Come on, there we go. I feel like my brain functions faster than this computer. There's a bearded man in the way. What the fu- I can't- Okay, I'm out here now. I- what the fuck is happening? I honestly do not remember the experience being this terrible. And keep in mind, as I said before, I didn't use a config back then, so like, it was way worse. I feel like the network settings I'm using, just as part of Master Config, are too fucking intense for this computer to handle. Clearly we need uh, different network settings if we want to be able to pull this off at all. So I am going to go back to the comfort of my main PC and I'm going to transfer over some files that will hopefully make this experience possible. I think this thing has just fucking had it with me. For now, I'm going to do the extremely smart thing and uh, just, you know, yoink, no more power, and then I'll plug it back in and restart it. And this time, hopefully, it will work. I have poured so much time into this video, and most of it is just sitting in front of this machine while it does absolutely fucking nothing. Okay, cool, it reset my voice settings. Awesome. We're in the game. 
check in scoreboard. Looks like that works. Let's turn on net graph one. Okay, so we're in the two fort spawn room. We're at around 25 FPS, 20. Uh, getting out onto the fucking two fort shit. It looks like it's working now. I guess I just had to change the network settings. There's that 11 FPS. You love to see it. You love to see it. It's so fun. Can I rocket jump? Kind of. I fucked it up. Okay, we're fine. Just gotta get down into the water, not get killed by that guy, and I'm dead. This time I'm gonna try to do the rocket jump and actually make it. Oh, I did it. Oh, I'm a legend. I'm a pro. I'm so good. Oh, there's a pyro. And they got Uber for some reason. I want to get one kill and then I can stop. Dude, imagine if I could fucking do that, like that pyro. That'd be sick. Oh, I got one. Oh, I don't think that counts, though, because that was, like... He was already weak, so, you know, whatever. Uh, they're probably gonna chase me down here. Yep, they did. They... They know how to air blast. Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. I can't believe I used to fucking play the game like this. Is that a free kill? A free kill? I don't have hit sounds. I don't have a shotgun. I got him. We're good. I want to get a kill that's not, like, just given to me. It seems like my team is getting in here pretty, pretty easily. Oh, uh, there's another pyro. Can I get that one? I don't have a shotgun, so that makes this a little bit more difficult. Uh, if I go that way, maybe. I don't know. Sitting around 16 frames per second. A little bit lower, a little bit higher sometimes. 15 right now, 17. Yeah, this is just about the best experience ever. I can't aim because my frame rate's so low. Okay, yeah. I think I've thoroughly demonstrated as much as I can without giving myself a fucking hernia. So, uh, yeah, back to you, uh, future Aaron. TF2 is a free-to-play game that is often recommended by everyone and their dog when PC gaming newcomers ask for stuff to play on their new devices. Despite those people's claims that TF2 can run on a toaster, I wholeheartedly disagree, and my old daily driver HP Craptop is a perfect piece of evidence to support that belief. This has been a video by Air. Thanks for watching! Be sure to like the video if you did, and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for more videos like this one. Oh, and you can catch me live on Twitch at 7pm Eastern on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Catch you later!